So here we have the self-organizing MCU example, as you can see over here, my two at mega chips. And then as you can see over here in this screen right here, I am running a remote session into my Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to be running the serial monitor example that we had in the self-organizing MCU tutorial. And what this is going to be doing is instead of power sequencing myself manually, so trying to hold the reset and then change the reset pin again, this chip over here is going to do all the work for us. So you're going to see right now. So first I'm going to listen on the serial monitor and then I'm going to enable the chip by putting on VDD. And you can see the first device is powering up. We're going to wait for that total of 10 seconds. And then the second device is going to be pulled out of reset, which is the Atmega 328P. And here you see the second one pulling out of reset. And so now they are coordinating with each other correctly because one didn't turn on until a number of seconds after the first one. So we waited until the first sequence started, it claimed as the organizer, and then the second one automatically powered up. So you can see that the power sequencing is working correctly with our software. 